Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Well, I have finally received a beta version of Luminar Neo. Well, it's not actually a beta version. They're calling it the tech demo version of Luminar Neo. And with it, I'll be able to demo three of the new tools that will be found in Luminar Neo. I'm not sure you could hear the amusement in my voice at the top of this video, but the so-called tech demo version really does amuse me. What it is, is the Luminar Neo user interface. They say that when Luminar Neo is released, it will pretty much look like this. And this tech demo version has three of the new tools in it. Those three tools are remove dust spots, remove power lines, and relight. So I'll be able to demo those. It doesn't contain anything else. And when I say it doesn't contain anything else, I mean it doesn't contain anything else. I can't even process an image in it. I could just demo those three tools. Now, of course, when Luminar Neo is going to be released, it is a full featured RAW editor. They say it will have everything in it that Luminar AI has it, plus it will have those three new tools. And eventually, some, somewhere down the line, it's also gonna have a tool called uh, Portrait Background Removal, and it's gonna have one called Mask AI. Of course, it's going to have full layers capability. I can't demo all that. I could only demo these three new tools. So I'm going to do that. I also have a little more info about when it's going to be released. And they're having a Black Friday sale that actually is going on right now, even though it's not Black Friday. I'll have info about that as well. Now let's just jump right into the demo. I mentioned one of those tools is called Remove Dust Spots. I have this image here. And you can see it has a lot of dust spots. Those are actually water droplets. Um, the wind was blowing right at the camera and it was long exposure and some water uh, droplets hit the camera lens. Now, I mentioned there's three tools in this version and that's it. And you'll look on the right, you'll see two tools. Well, that's because the erase tool contains remove power lines and remove dust spots. And simply with a click of a button, you'll remove those dust spots. So I'll click on it and you can see it got rid of them all. And it actually did a really good job. And I have tried it on a few different images and it really did work every time. And it really does know when a bird is there, let's say, and it won't remove the bird. So it knows the difference between like a bird and a dust spot. Now, if it did remove something that you didn't want removed, let's say it did remove a bird accidentally, you could always restore it. it as soon as you use it or open that tool, it has the erase brush. You would just paint on that area that had the bird it accidentally removed or the object it accidentally removed and just click on restore and you'll bring it back. Also, if it missed a dust spot, you could paint on it and click on erase and it will erase it as well. So you have full manual control of this tool as well. So that is remove dust spots. It's pretty straightforward and it works as advertised. Another one of the new tools I'll be able to demo is remove power lines. So I have this image here. You can see the two power lines going across the sky. And again, that's in the erase tool and we'll just click on remove power lines and it takes a second. And they did mention that this tech demo version isn't optimized for speed yet. It's just got those three tools in it, nothing else. So it may take a little longer to work than it will when Luminar Neo is released. So you can see it removed the power lines fine. Now if it missed part of the power line, again, you do have a brush active. So you could brush on the area and click on erase. Or if it removed part of the image that you don't want removed, paint on that area and then click restore and it will bring it back. And with the little bit I've used it, the root power lines definitely seems to work as advertised. Now another tool it has is Relight, and I'm gonna relight a portrait. You don't have to use it on a portrait though. It works on landscape images as well, any type of image, and I'll demo that as well. I have this image here, a model sitting on the rock, and she looks a little dark, right? So we're gonna open up the Relight tool, and I want to brighten her up. So you could just move this slider to the right and you brighten up her. Um, maybe make it a little darker in the background. And look, I'm getting a halo around her. Well, if you open up Advanced Settings, well, there's a de-halo slider and you can push that. That kind of how it wraps, the light wraps around her. Also, this, this depth slider will help with that as well. Actually, I don't want that area in the background that dark. But you can see how that relight tool, you could really um, affect specific parts of the image. Also, you could adjust the warmth of the near part, make it warmer to the right, cooler to the left. 
and far away, warmer to the right, cooler to the left. And just double click on a slider to reset it to its default position. So that is the relight tool. And I mentioned that you don't have to use it on portraits or lifestyle images. You could use it on landscape images as well, or any type of image as well. I have this image here, just a simple shot, but this foreground area does look kind of dark compared to the rest of the image. So I'm gonna to go to relight. I'm gonna to go to brightness near and brighten it up. And then this brightness far, I could affect that as well. The depth, I could push it back a little bit. So I could kind of even out the lighting. I think that works pretty good. I don't need to worry about dehalo. Maybe I want to make it a bit warmer in the foreground, and a bit warmer in the background. So Relight Tool, it's pretty handy. Now I mentioned there are other new tools that are supposedly going to be in uh, Luminar Neo. I'm not sure they'll be out in 1.0, might be in 1.1, and those are Mask AI and Portrait Background Removal AI. Those are two new tools that I can't demo today. Um, also, it has full layers uh, capability, unlike Luminar uh, and AI. It doesn't have full layers capability, so you'll be able to work with layers as well. Now, they kind of narrowed down. Um, oh, let me do something real quick. I see there's a dust spot up here. Let me go to the erase tool and I see there's a bird here and a bird there. Can you see that? Let's just see. I haven't tried this in advance. All right, so we're gonna go to remove dust spots. So let's see, all right, remove that and left the two birds. So it does know the difference. Pretty clever. Okay, um, they kind of talked about the release date. They had initially said holiday season. Now the holiday season is like, you know, last week of December to the first week of January. Now they're saying that it should be released towards the end of January. So look for Luminar Neo towards the end of January. Also, um, they had mentioned, or I had mentioned at the top, that there is a Black Friday sale going on right now. I'll have more info about that in the description below this video. So you could check that out. Now, hopefully I get another tech demo that shows more of Luminar Neo, or I get a full beta version which is the full working version of Luminar Neo. So I could really demo it more in depth and show you the speed relative to my computer so you could get an idea how it may work and uh, that. So hopefully I get that soon. And as soon as I do, I promise you I'll do a video right away on it. So that's pretty much everything I know about Luminar Neo so far. If I find out anything more, I'll definitely do a video on it or I'll write it in the description below this video and so on. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>